Hello guys, in this video tutorial you will see how to control level of 3 tanks in Tia portal. Uh, each tank includes a level sensor, a filling valve and a discharge valve. The PID compact block regulates the inlet flow to maintain the desired level or the set point based on real-time feedback. Uh, the program is downloaded to a real PLC and I applied faceplates in designing HMI and now you can see the simulation results. Uh, first of all, take into account that you check this box, permit access with put get to be able to connect to factory IO. Uh, let's review the program. Uh, I have created a PLC data type PID UDT that contains following tags uh, that is necessary for HMI faceplate. Set point, process value or feedback signal, uh, PID output control signal, maximum of control signal, PID gain, integral time and derivative time, and finally a reset button to reset PID compact. In next step, I define the data block named GVL that contains an array of PID UDT and an array of PID compact retain. We need following PLC tags to communicate with factory IO. PID compact functions are defined in OB30 with cyclic time 1 millisecond. As soon as you define the data block for PID compact, it appears in a technology objects list. Uh, for three tanks, I instantiate three function blocks and then assign tags to the set point, input and reset. Uh, by clicking on configuration button, this page appears. Set mode to automatic mode and because of simulating the project, here select input for input and output for output. In case that you use physical analog input or analog output of PLC, you can select input per or output per. Process value, high limit is maximum tank level that here it is 10. Uh, PID output value, high limit is 100%. And finally, enable uh, manual entry. Let's go to the main, 
uh, in main I just called mapping function. In mapping function by applying for loop, uh, first I transfer tags that are configured on HMI to the array of dbs retained. Then by using case command, assign dbs retained to the related PID tank dot retain. PID out percent and PID out norm are temporary parameters and by applying norm x and scale x functions we can obtain the control signal. Uh, as a summary this is the process to obtain control signal. Uh, PID out percent is between 0 to 100. By applying norm x function, this value is normalized between 0 to 1. And by using a scale x, it is scaled between 0 to maximum limit of control signal. And the final step is mapping data to FIO tags.